Hello Pisces, how are you today? Welcome to your U versus M reading for the week of July 1st through 7th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. So the overall energy is a fork in the road. It's time to make a choice. You are enchanted though by the option. Something exciting looks like it's happening. That's quite a lovely fork in the road. All right, you are observing you and your person very carefully for what your future could bring. All right. So Pisces, Pisces, Neptune has gone retrograde. So you have a time of rest. Tick tock. It looks like you're on some sort of time frame to make a decision. So we're going to see what your energy is and see where you're at in this relationship. And then we'll look at your partner, your person of interest, whatever may be the case. Okay. Let's see. We're using Light Seer's Tarot today, Wisdom of the Oracle. Oh, here we go. Do we have? Ooh, Aquarius Energy, Pisces. You're very intellectual, very aloof, very analytical. You know, you're sort of in this very zen state. You're not going to really, you're not in the mood to make a decision yet, but you are looking with enthusiasm at the future for you and your person of interest. You are feeling a little bit um, defensive that you will not be making some of the choices. It looks like whoever is a partner with you in your life may be moving or doing something different, and so we're seeing you sort of waiting on the side a little bit while they figure out, it looks like career moves, so let's see, what else? What is, what, how do you view your person, Pisces? Five of Swords. Ouch! Aquarius energy. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. Five of Swords says that the two of you have been having some conflict, and that might be the TikTok. Either that or, for some of you, your person may be under a lot of stress right now, so you view them as completely stressed out. In your heart space, how do you feel for your person? The Fool card. Aquarius energy. Lots of Aquarius energy. You want a new beginning with your person. You really do. You want things to work out. So a new beginning, though, could be moving. You know, it could be anything. It doesn't mean that you've been separation. Look at this. Ace of Swords, you have great clarity. You're, it's almost like you're just waiting for the plan to unroll. Okay. Let's see. What do we have that's hidden in your energy, Pisces? Page of Cups. When pigs fly... There's a part of you that is uncertain as to whether the plans that your person and you are possibly making together, whether they're going to come to fruition or not. Spirit is saying keep your options open at this time. That's the advice of Spirit. Your outcome in this relationship for this particular seven days is, oh, nice, beautiful, nurturing energy, Capricorn energy. You know, that's you really being there on the home front, nurturing, loving, taking care of things, making dinner, making sure everything is moving right in the relationship. It is a committed relationship, what I'm seeing. For most of you, for whom I'm reading, it does look like a an exclusive and committed relationship. Okay, so now let's see how your person is feeling. When I clarify the cards, I'm going to give you the table shot, okay? So that you can see all the cards together. But for the preview, I like to do it this way. Okay. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. So in the recent past, your person has felt very lucky. It's Sagittarius energy. They might have gone on a business trip. Uh, they might be, you know, working. Destiny turns in their favor. So in the connection that you're having with them, they feel very lucky that you are in their life. They're trying to stay very balanced at the present time. We have Libra Energy, the Justice card. This also indicates that they might be getting a contract or a new business opportunity that will influence the relationship. And here we have it. We have the Ace of Coins coming in. And so that's how your person views the way they're going to move forward with you in the relationship is very rapidly. It looks as though the two of you may be moving based on your partner's job. Uh, Nine of Swords, though, says in their heart space that they have remorse, regret. There's something about that's keeping them up at night. Pisces, your person is not sleeping well. They have some regrets about something. I don't know what it is, though. So we'll clarify. 
All right, the high priestess, your person is keeping very quiet about how they see the future moving. They're playing their cards close to their chest. They're very intuitive though. I like how your person looks. They look they look like a very good person. A lot of Cancerian energy, so they have a lot of nurturing energy for you and the relationship. What is hidden in their um, in their energy that you don't see is that they feel as though they're at a crossroads. But that makes perfect sense with the fork in the road, right? So your person feels as though they're going to have to make a choice. And um, we'll clarify it and find out whether that's about life, love, you know, their relationship with you, or whether it could be an offer that's coming in to do something somewhere else. Okay. Possible relocation is what I'm seeing here for some of you. Okay. So what do we have for their outcome? This sun card. Ooh, manifestation. Spirit is bringing into your person a lot of happiness. Your person really feels very thrilled at having you in their life. They feel thrilled at the idea of being in a sunny location on vacation with you. Spirit is recommending that you take time to have fun together. Your outcome card, two fell out. Your outcome card for your person this week is the lover's card. Making a choice, choosing you, being happy. Uh, really loving the offer that you get and looking into the future with the Three of Wands. So let's go ahead and click over. Okay, so now you can see this. Let me see if I can straighten out the table a little bit here and make that more even. Okay, so let's look and I really want to point out the places that you're mirroring each other's energy. So we have here, we have the um, Area card, wait a minute. I saw. Okay, here it is. The place that I see you really on the same page with each other is your current energy that you have about this is your person, they're your ship that's come in, they're your future, and your person looking at taking their lover with them on a new adventure in life, okay? So I'm getting this really nice energy. There is some sort of time frame both of you are looking at. So it looks like a really nice relationship. Um, both of you are skeptical and worried, a little tense and everything. But for the most part, let's just see what the clarifiers are. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? Why are you so, sort of aloof and intellectual? Well, you've been single a long time. You're very comfortable with the idea of being single. You also are very comfortable with your partner being someone who is very desirable. You trust their decisions is what I'm seeing. So the Seven of Swords, excuse me, the Seven of Pentacles reverse says that you're not necessarily as invested as your person in making a big change. It looks like you like the status quo more than they do. Uh, while their energy is all about making the big change, you'll go, you know, your person will go along with it, but they're not, I would say if anybody's moving for a job, it's your job, not their job. The Page of Swords says that you're, you know, while you feel you're waiting online, you are doing a lot of research. You are also watching your person's social media. So it does show that there's something something in the social media that may feel a little a little weird or off, or, but you're just watching. Okay, so the energy that clarifies Pisces, your five of swords, is a five, the Hierophant card, so five and a five. There's conflict over marital status or the plans for the future, the fact that you're in a marriage-like relationship. So it does show you have some disagreement about what you want. The basics of what you want are different. Okay, and clarifying the Fool card, a new beginning, is a Capricorn Queen. So, you know, we have the Capricorn Queen here and here. So it really speaks to the fact that you like everything stable. You're pretty happy the way things are right now. Look at what just fell out of the deck, the Lover's card, in terms of your energy. So once again, we're seeing you marry your partner. It shows that you have a guardian angel looking out for both of you. Look at this. We have the King of Swords energy here. 
interesting. We have Seven of Cups here. Very interesting. So what we're seeing is also that you're mirroring each other again on this sort of staying detached. You don't really know what the future is going to bring. To clarify the Page of Cups, page we have the Ace of Coins. So again, it looks as though a lot is waiting sort of it's in limbo it looks like your relationship feels very solid you're choosing each other and you're going through an upheaval in career an upheaval in just the circumstances of your life look at this both of you i will say this pisces i do think that for some of you you may want to be a parent because we get the card here we get the high priestess which is a protector of women who are pregnant we get again the hot we're getting the queen of pentacles energy so i think for some of you you would really like to have more family or possibly commitment with your person we're seeing them in a bit of a different energy but we're going to clarify so let's see here for our for pisces lover i'm going to use a different deck i'm going to use this deck okay so it looks as though Pisces, you're kind of more traditional than your person. You're, you're definitely open and wanting something that's very stable and happy. You just don't know if the new plans for a new location and so forth are going to be what you want. Okay. So Pisces, your person. We have Sagittarius energy here. Sagittarius energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune's turning in their favor. Four of Pentacles, nice. So what we're seeing is that you're saving money, you're having good luck, or your person's having a lot of good luck doing so. Uh, they're holding on to their coin. The Justice card is indicating it's clarified by the Knight of Cups. So they're waiting for an offer. Your person is saving money, waiting for an offer. So very specific reading. It won't be for everyone, but and for those of you who are just want the offer and love, it's coming. So if I read it very specifically, it's more like one person is waiting for the career offer. It's on its way. It's going to happen, and choices will be made. Okay. So the chariot card is clarified by the emperor card. Your person knows exactly what they want. They know exactly what direction they're going in. They're feeling very good about themselves, but they are very worried. What are they worried about in their heart space? And this is about you, the Empress card. They're worried that you might not want the same thing. They're worried that, you know, you are a divine couple, but they are very much worried at night about what you're thinking, that they don't think that they're really... They don't think you're telling them. Okay. So why do we have the high priestess here for how they see the future with you? Ah, the high priestess is clarifying the high priestess. And the eight of cups. So your person's very curious. For many of you, it looks as though you might split up and be apart for a while. And your person's very nervous about this Pisces. Your person feels like they will go ahead in this adventure for a new life so to build something for the two of you but it looks like you may be in separation but not for very long because it's high priestess high priestess and then the eight of cups it's sort of like when somebody says well i'm taking a new job in atlanta you stay here with the kids finish out the year of school and then you'll follow me there so that's the energy i'm picking up here so what we get now if this is just metaphorical it's all about you know, your person is wanting to make different moves like buying a home or move to a different neighborhood. And so you might not be on the same page there. So, for whom it resonates. Two of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups. So your person is very emotionally attached to the outcome. They're very, they're keeping their emotions under control, but they have a passionate desire for this. So the Sun card says, look at fruition. Your person's going to get their offer. The King of Wands is clarifying the Sun card. So to me, that looks very much like manifestation. Your person is coming in here with the lover's energy. What is, yeah, they want to give up the burden of what they're doing now. Again, I feel this is very, very much a cycle in which your person wants to give up an old job to go to something new. 
something more magical. Yep, they want to move, absolutely. So that's what I get for the clarifiers. They want to move with a victory, a lot of Leo energy. You might be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So let's look and see what the Sacred Destiny has for you. It looks as though your relationship looks solid. It looks like um, the two of you are in a good place. Oh, wisdom. Nice wisdom. We have trust. Healing chaos. Okay. So whatever has been tumultuous, whatever has been chaotic about this process is really, you're manifesting this beautifully, Pisces. Look at this. You and your partner are doing very well. So I would say you are about to take a big new step into a new life. That's your reading for now, for today, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. Send me your love. Send some back. Tell me where you're from around the world. Take care. Bye-bye, Pisces.